Hello and welcome to the 10 forumscom This video will show how to post about your crash and BSOD issues in order to get help at the 10 forumscom Okay, you have survived a total crash. You might even have seen the feared blue screen of death. You might have been forced to use a backup image or system restore to get back in the business, but at least Windows is working again, booting to the desktop. In this example, I have done a system restore after a BSOD crash. Now it is important to find out what caused the crash, to fix issues which led to it. Luckily Windows has created a so-called dump file which contains information about the crash and which will, when analyzed, help me in finding the reason. Windows stores the dump files in a folder called Minidump, a subfolder in the system folder Windows. The folder is protected. When trying to open it, the system will warn you about that. Click Continue to grant yourself access to it. Inside the Minidump folder you will find a dump file for each of your BSOD crashes. In my case now, the folder only contains one file. I know almost nothing about crash analysis. Luckily I am a member of the greatest Windows 10 community, the help is near. I open a browser and surf to the 10forums.com and enter the BSOD crashes and debugging forum. On top of the main page, I can see posting instructions, a link to a post telling me how and what to post in order to get help. Wanting to do this right, I follow the link. First things first, I am instructed to start by downloading a tool which will collect the crash-related data from my computer. The tool is now downloaded, I run it as instructed. I press a key to start the collecting process. Following the command prompt output, I can see that the tool collects information about my hardware setup, drivers and such. All necessary information has now been collected and the tool tells me the data is stored in the chipped archive on my desktop. Because this is a new case, a new issue, and I have not started a thread where I could post my collected crash logs, I need to start a new thread. Reading the instructions one more time, I am told to include all details about my crash and attach the zip archive the tool created. I go back to the main page of the BSOD crashes and debugging forum and click the post new thread button. First, I want to give my thread a title which explains what happened with a few words. When I have composed my post, I click the paper clip icon on the toolbar to upload my DM collector zip file. Depending on the browser I am using, a new window or tab will be open. I click Add Files at top right, browse to desktop and select the zip file. upload the selected file, I click the Upload button. The file has been uploaded. I close the Add Files dialog by clicking the Done button at bottom right. Finally, I add the uploaded file into my post from the small arrowhead next to the paperclip icon by selecting it.
I can now submit my post and start a new thread by clicking the Submit New Thread button. The more information about my system my fellow geeks have, the better. That's why I finally check that my system specifications are up to date and if not, change them. That's it. Remember that all of 10forums.com members are volunteers, assisting when the real life it allows. It might take some time before you get a reply. Starting a new thread about the same issue is not going to speed things up. See you again at the10forums.com